Ew, things are falling apart. Is it because your mother's gone? Did she leave us? Why won't you look at me? Embry, are they in there? <laughs> I'm gonna ask you a question. Are your parents locked in the basement? Ooh, it's been a little while, but once again, these games may appear to be cute, but they're actually super creepy and most likely cursed. So this first game is actually what made me want to make one of these again. It's called Winter's Gift, and it's a short horror game, but all I saw was the image of the cute little girl in this, so I need to know why it was in the horror game section. Act one. Winter was generally a good kid. Generally. She enjoyed most things about her life. Oh. Except for one thing. What was the one thing? Look how cute she is. Yeah, this is the image I saw for this game. And I was like, she looks like a Disney Pixar character. What could possibly happen to make this a horror game? Oh my God, I hope nothing happens to Winter. Okay, generally a good kid. What did you do? And she likes everything except for one. Let's go through her story. Act two. Winter despised her namesake. <gasps> Why? It wasn't I think because it's pretty. it was cold or snowy or the days were short. It was because it was almost Christmas. Oh. Her family had a strange tradition. They drew names from a hat and had to make presents for each other. In winter, she hated it. Why? Winter, what's wrong with you? <laughs> That's what you hate of everything in the whole world? You hate making presents for your family on Christmas? <laughs> I don't like you, Winter. <laughs> the thing about the black and whiteness makes me scared. Is she still there? She's still there. Act three. Okay, we must be in her house. It must be Christmas. Oh, is this something one of her family made? Why don't you like making things, Winter? Oh, it's her family. They look happy. Where'd the nice calm music go, Winter? I'm scared. Where's the music? Do I go? Oh, uh oh. Well, it's all black and white, so... Oh, we know, that could be a glitter handprint. You know, maybe they did some some hand painting. We're not gonna think the worst. There's a bunch of books everywhere and a sad girl drawing. Somebody made a mess. Uh, another handprint, okay. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. Winter? Winter? Winter, where are you? I need your cuteness. Oh, there she is. Winter stuck her hand in the hat. She pulled out a single name. She slowly unfolded the piece of paper. Winter, what's on the ground? And realized there Winter. was no one left to make presents for. Winter? Winter, what'd you do? Wait, what? What? Uh, so, let me get this straight. The cute girl Winter hated the tradition of picking a name out of a hat on Christmas to make a gift for somebody in her family so much that she murdered everyone. <laughs> Winter, use your words. Tell your family you don't like doing it. I mean, I get, I get that she's just like crazy and has some issues going on. Like this is her like descent into madness, I guess. But <sighs> Winter, girl, what are you? What? What did I just play? The look of her face at the end, though, was pretty creepy. Okay, we're off to a great start. All right, game number two called Can I Have a Glass of Water? Again, involves a cute little girl. It's probably gonna end up just as terrible. Daddy, can I have a glass of water? Sure thing, sweetheart. <laughs> sure thing, sweetheart. Get your daughter some water. Okay. F for flashlight. Why do why do we have a why are we not using the electricity? Oh god, my life's a mess. The green lights will guide you. Alright, we're just getting a glass of water for our adorable daughter. I can't get out. Where's the green lights? Oh <gasps> Jesus. Oh, there we go. Why can't I get out that door? Is the dog dead? Why why? It's a terrible picture of my dog. <laughs> oh god, what was that? Also, where's the green light telling me where to go? <gasps> Jesus. Oh, it's my daughter's room. Why can't you get your own water? <laughs> is she dead? What's going on? Hey, is she not real? Is she a doll? Okay, fine. Let's go get you a drink of water. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. There we go, the green light. There we go. Yes, I know how to get water. I live here. Wow, such animation. 10 out of 10. Never seen such great animating. I heard... Keep hearing noises. I'm just gonna run, run right back up. I'm scared. Hello? 
Daughter, why are there so many doors in this house? Oh, ew, things are falling apart. Is it because your mother's gone? Did she leave us? Did she leave us, sweetheart? I can't find your room. Went out drinking again. <gasps> Jesus. Okay, I'm just putting it next to you. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome. You're welcome. Why won't you look at me? <laughs> What's going on? What's go- why? Can you shut off my light, too? Are you- Sure thing. What are your legs, broken? Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. I don't have a daughter. What? Daddy? What? What? Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What a twist. We should have been scared of the girl the whole time. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, my, I, my brain's broken. <laughs> Need a couple minutes before I move on to the third game. Both of those games just ended in such a way that my brain is broken. Give me a second. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this last game, I'm late to it, I know. I know Gloom's played this, Bijou Mike's played this, a couple other people, and I wasn't sure if I should play it because a lot of you guys that watch me also watch them. And it's longer, but it's cute and creepy and it fits the series, so. Because the other two games were so short and so, I don't know what was going on at the end. <laughs> I wanted to put in one that I know a lot of people like, but I have not gotten to play or watch. But we will be cutting down the dialogue so that this video is not super long. But at least you can get my reaction to the story. Cool? Cool. See, look how cute. She belongs in this series. Oh my God, I love her. Embry, it's morning. I have to make breakfast. Why do I have blood on my apron already? I don't know, we're not gonna pay attention to it. We're just gonna go make breakfast, like the game told us. Good, we haven't run out of jelly yet. The most important food item. Mom always told me not to use the oven unless she was around. Okay, so my parents aren't here. Got peanut butter. Oh, we're making a peanut butter and jelly. The bread bin. Two slices of bread left, thank God. Sandwich made. We're running low on groceries again. I'll make a list and go to the market. But I have to feed them first. Who's them? Interesting. Okay, it's breakfast time, you guys. Remember to share. Oops. Is it her? Is it her parents? Where are they? Nope, not her parents. All fed. I better go write the grocery list before I forget. All right, all written down. Guess we're going to the market today. I look like a hot mess. I mean, what am I talking about? I look like this in real life when I go out. All right, let's go to the market. <gasps> look how cute my house is compared to everything. Oh, it's broken. I can't ask anyone to fix it for me. Where's my parents? Oh God. Do, 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 do. Going through the terrifying woods to get to the market. Well, here we are again. I hope Mr. Baylor has it today. <gasps> this is so cute. Oh, I love the artwork. <gasps> bread! Ah, Embry. Back again, I see. Hello, Mr. Wilson. May I have some more bread? Well, sure, sure, of course. What kind? All. All of it. <laughs> uh, whatever kind. Here, I'll give you some whole wheat. Some sourdough on the house. You like that kind, right? Not my favorite. Say, uh, Embers, how is everything? Your folks are all right. Oh, yes, they're fine. Well, not fine, but you know. Well, uh, you know, my kid's back in town this weekend. If your parents want, we could come over and maybe help around the house, bring over some more bread. Oh, that sounds great. No, no, that, that's fine. Mom and dad keep telling me they don't want anyone over. They're embarrassed. Well, just tell them I offered anyways, okay? Anytime they need it. Right, I will. Everybody in town's so nice. What's ha What happened to my parents? Okay, so I guess we just need stuff for peanut butter and jelly each time. Oh, Embry, you're back. Good morning. Good morning, Lucille. Can I have some jelly or um jam, whatever? You know, normally I'd ask someone to say please, but, but you're special. You don't gotta. Why am I special? What is going on with my life that nobody's talking about? So, Embry, this is the third week in a row you came by here dressed like this. Yeah, my life's falling apart, Lucille. It's falling apart, okay? You know, if your mom and pa ever need help with laundry, I don't mind. It's all right. They'll be back around once they get over their sickness. My parents' sickness trying to piece things together. <laughs> I'm hoping they'll get better soon. Yeah, me too. I killed my parents, didn't I? No meats? You don't have any today either, do you? Afraid not, kiddo. This is like the third shopping trip in a row that you were empty. I know, I know. Just kill something for me. I'll take the meat of anything. Look, kid, I promise next time I have extra, it's all going to you. All right, see you later. That's all I came here for. I guess there's uh, nothing left to do but go home. Everything is put away. It's getting dark already, huh? I'll have to feed them dinner then before it gets too dark. She's definitely holding her parents captive in the basement and feeding them peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I hope they're not too hungry after this morning. They eat more than they used to, but there's only so much food I can ask for at the market. If I ask for too much, they're going to start wondering where it's all going. You eat so much now. I can hardly keep up. It's dinner time, it's dinner time. Dinner time! 
love the sound effects. Dinner is done. I'm tired. I'll go to bed. So I didn't eat all day. I just gave it to whatever is in the basement. It's time to go to bed. Do you see how easy it is? Oh, it's a memory. They grew so quickly. I thought we'd have to wait forever. It's incredibly easy for a flower to grow in the right conditions. But you have to be careful too. Because as easy it is for a flower to bloom, it is just as easy to wilt and wither away. So you must remember to take care of the little thing. Because without that care, your whole garden will fall apart. <gasps> what happened to mom? She was cut in half. <laughs> uh oh. They're banging on the door. They haven't done that in a while. I should check on it, right? Who's making a ruckus? Uh oh. They're trying to escape. They're hungry. But what do I do about it? I already fed them dinner. And I have to try and save as much food as I can. Oh yeah, this is a jam. But if they're hungry, I can't just let them go hungry. Or else they might... Oh. Feed them. What do we... I don't know what to feed them though. Fine. I'll give them just a little more food. But no more than that. It's bedtime after that. I hope I made the right decision. I don't know. No, no. I can't use this. I need this for breakfast tomorrow. Not this either. Okay, this should be enough for them. I hope. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. What can I make for breakfast? I just got bread yesterday and jelly. And we still have butter and stuff? Yeah, I'll just make another sandwich. I just hope it'll be filling enough that they don't cause a ruckus again. Oh, she does say ruckus. I knew it. <laughs> I can just tell she was a ruckus person. Butter. Yeah, I should use it. It's better to feed it to them than to let it go bad. Am I making them a butter sandwich? Breakfast is ready again. Oh, a butter sandwich. Wow. I'm making them toast with butter. <laughs> but um, there was something else I have to do in here. What was it again? Ah, right. Today's the fourth of the month. I almost forgot to write it down. Today marks four months since it happened. Four months since the monsters appeared. Four months since I've been living like this. Four months that I've been keeping them fed so they don't eat me like they ate them. Cleaning the windows. I have to stay here and take care of things. I'm the only one who can. My parents, that night they appeared. The sounds that followed, it sounded like they were eaten, but uh, I didn't actually see that happen. It's just what I think. And since I didn't see it happen, I think that maybe they weren't somehow. Maybe I just have to wait here for them to come back. I, I don't know. What's that saying the adults say? Take it day by day. That's what I do. I mean, it's working, isn't it? I'm okay. And if I just keep those things down there fed, everything else will be okay too door again. But this isn't their normal feeding time. Embry? I was gonna say, what if your parents are still alive down there? Are you there? Uh-oh. Mom? Embry, it's okay. Mom, you... I know you must have been so scared, but everything is better now. You can open the door. Ooh. Let's respond. No. You... You are my mom. You're not going to open the door? Really now, after everything I do for you... Stop it. My mom, my mother would never talk like that. All right, kiddo, this isn't funny anymore. Open the door before I get mad. Keep talking back. Show dominance. Do, do you really think that's gonna work? Dad doesn't yell like that. Pretending to, since when did you learn to talk? I'm not going to open the door. Is it done, Embry? Please let me out. I'm tired of this. Wait, what? Why, why do you sound like, I hate this monster. That's what you call us, right? That's why you won't open the door? How can you say such a thing? How can you treat us this way? Do you really hate yourself this much? What are you talking about? I'm keeping you fed, isn't that enough? What else do you want from me? I want out. I want out. I want out. Let us out. I, I need fresh air. It's okay. Everything is okay. I never heard them talk before. I didn't even know they could. They're getting smarter, I guess. That's bad. But what am I supposed to do then? Should I just let them starve? No, no, it's gonna be okay. I will figure something out and I'll just keep feeding them until I do. Speaking of feeding, it's dinner time. There has to be something in here. I never ended up touching this cheese wheel. It was supposed to be good, but it's probably collecting mold now. Some people like mold on their cheese though, right? I gave it to them. Is that it? I'm just giving them cheese? <laughs> you didn't like the moldy cheese? They're fed, it's fine. Everything is fine. I'm going to bed. I told you it's easy, isn't it? Oh, he was teaching me to paint. All oh, these nice memories of my parents. It's fun. 
Good. That's how it's supposed to feel. Will I ever be as good at painting as you are? You could be. You can be whatever you want. Something important to remember about painting, though. It's true that if you make a mistake, you can just paint over it. But you can only paint over it so many times before it begins to look jumbled and muddy. So you should make sure you know what you're doing when you go in. So your painting doesn't end up ruined. I feel like there's deeper meaning behind this game. Banging on the door again. This is the second night in a row. Are they still mad? Oh yeah, it's my jam again. What am I supposed to do? I know food isn't the only thing they want now, but food also calms them down. What am I going to do? I'm going back to bed. I'll pretend I slept through this. I'm going back to bed. Okay, I didn't give in. I don't know if that mattered. It's morning. I have to make breakfast. How much food is left anyways? Might have to go back to the market later. Maybe there will be meat today. I think it's what keeps them the most full, but I have to feed them breakfast before I leave the house. I don't know if we have any food left. I usually try to avoid giving them cereal because it's, well, not the easiest to transport. I'll just throw them the box, all the boxes. <laughs> After I feed them, I definitely have to go back to the market today. I just hope this is enough for breakfast to begin with. Ew. It's fine. They seem fine with it. Back to the market. I have to talk to Miss Baylor before I go anywhere else. If she has any meat today, I have to make sure I get it before anyone else does. Miss Baylor, please, please. Henry, good morning. Oh, you seem pretty happy today. I'm just excited. There's good news for you today. Does that mean you have meat today? Oh, haha. <laughs> no, not exactly. Oh my God, Miss Baylor, I hate you. It's a different kind of good news. Oh, what is it then? Well, you see, there's a traveling doctor visiting town today. I know you said the doctors here couldn't help your parents, so maybe he can. Oh, oh, she told people that her parents were gone because they were sick, but they really got eaten by a monster and she doesn't want to tell anybody. I can see him talking to Mr. Wilson right now. Why don't you go talk to him? Go introduce yourself. Right. Where is he? Oh, that, this guy. Ooh. I like him. He's creepy and cute. Perfect for this video. I'm sure Miss Baylor already told you, but this is Dr. D-Light. On oh, D-Light. Oh, God. It's got its own theme music. The one and only, and I'm quite a delight, if I do say so myself. So you're Embry. Folks around here were telling me that you needed some help. You're a doctor? Indeedly so. Here, Embry, why don't you introduce D-Light to your parents? If anyone can help them, he should be able to. I will do my best to assist. Go on then, lead the way. Oh, I have a friend. <laughs> yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Oh, so this is the way to your house? Quite the thicket to walk through. Um, Mr. Delight, I don't want to say this in front of everyone, but you should go. You can't help me. Hey, don't be like that. I'm sure whatever problem your family's been going through, we can fix it. Oh yeah? Do you know how to put people back together? <laughs> Here's my beautiful pink house. You really still want to see them? I do. Okay. Do I show him the basement? I'll push you down there. Oh my, quite the heavily locked door. May I inquire as to what's inside? I mean, I'd rather you didn't. Embry, are they in there? <laughs> Embry, I'm gonna ask you a question. Are your parents locked in the basement? Can we open the door? What No. Hey, 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 it's all right. Can you tell me why they're locked up like this? I, I don't know what's down there. But whatever it is, it's really bad. We can't open the door. See, I told you that you couldn't help me. I'd still like to try. You're not going to leave until I open the door, right? Okay. I will open the door. Something the matter? My key is gone. That's, I always keep it on me. Why don't we look around for it here then? Let's look around then, I guess. Where the heck, where's the key? Oh, did you find it? Yeah, I did. But this doesn't make any sense. I've never put the key in here before. I don't even remember. Well, I suppose it's good you found it either way. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm, trying to figure out where this is going. All right, I'm opening the door now. Well, let's go on then. What? I said we could open the door. I didn't say we could go down. Uh, what do you mean? Of course we have to go down. That's the whole point, isn't it? No, you can't. Embry, let's go. No, please, let's... <gasps> Uh-oh. I mean, I was joking about it before, but I didn't know she'd actually... Oh, no. Oh, no. He was so nice. He just wanted to help you. Oh, no. This is so sad. Look at that. It's time for bed already. You're going to bed after that? I mean, I guess the monsters will be full for a while now. They shouldn't wake you up. <laughs> it's time to go to bed. <laughs> Nothing happened. How were they awake? They ate a whole person today. That was louder than the other times. I need to go check. Oh no, oh, the painting. The painting moved. What? What is happening? Basement door is open. I, I didn't open it. I definitely locked it before I went to bed. What do I do? Psh, go downstairs, I won't see what's down there. 
I have no choice. I have to go down there because if I don't, okay, it's okay, it's okay. Because if you don't, what? Oh, that it'd be roaming the house, probably eat you anyway. Oh my God, this is the longest staircase. What do we build a staircase to hell? Or is this a metaphor for going deep inside ourselves? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there's some sort of metaphor here. It can't just be straight up monsters. Oh, <gasps> Jesus. It's gonna happen again, isn't it? Oh, what's happening? Okay, okay. Oh, God. There is another me. It is inside my mind, isn't it? it oh, my God, it's me! You're... Emfrey. You... What do you look like? You look surprised. I don't see why. I thought by now you'd realize you and I are one and the same. That can't be right. I, it can't. Oh, that's right. It's because you think you're a monster. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. And that's not you, right? You're not a monster. That's what you think, right? You're not a monster. You pushed the doctor down the stairs. What are you talking about? No, I didn't. He fell. I kept tugging on his sleeve and he, he stumbled. He tripped. I didn't push anyone. But you opened the door for him, didn't you? You opened the door and then begged him not to look inside. Why did you do that? He wouldn't have tripped if you just let him go. You wouldn't have tripped him if you kept the door shut. He wouldn't have seen the door if you didn't let him in. And maybe he wouldn't have been here to begin with if you weren't such a monster. Oh, Embry, what are you going to do with yourself? What have you been doing all this time? Feeding, feeding, feeding. And for what? I think you feed me because you like it. It makes you feel better when you do, right? You feel safe. And you know, the funny thing about that is day after day. Oh my God, this is getting so creepy. Despite how much you've been feeding me, I'm still hungry. <gasps> What? It was a dream? Just a nightmare. But it's gone on long enough. Oh, oh no, now what's gonna happen? Well, there's still blood there. What? Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, so apparently there's other endings, um, but obviously this video is gonna be too long as it is. So I'm not gonna be investigating those. I'm sure they're on YouTube if you're curious. But yeah, I guess the whole thing is she's crazy and she hides this like crazy serial killer self in her basement, which is basically like in her mind. But then she actually has a basement where she killed her parents and the doctor. I think that's how I'm interpreting it. If I'm totally wrong, let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's all the cute but creepy games I have for you today. And until the next one, if you're looking for something else to watch, why not check out one of these videos? There's also a subscribe button there. You can click or tap it, it's free. And as always, I will see you guys soon.